Hey everyone, welcome to Find Your Flow. You're watching day three of release. So take the time here to ground, recharge your batteries, and connect to the now in part one of this two-part series, Stress Melt, Revive. I'll meet you on the mat. Jumping on right in, we are going to find a comfortable seat on the ground. And as always, if the ground doesn't feel good for you today, just find your way onto a chair, making sure that you're very rooted and that the feet are firmly planted on the earth. And whenever we arrive there, closing the eyes, softening the gaze. You're here, you turned on this video, the hard part is over. So stick with me here and let's see how we can maybe shift our mood or energies so that we can step off the mat feeling a little more balanced and aligned. So join me in connecting to our foundation or our root chakra that can help us to feel where we're coming from and know where we're going. If we are feeling a bit scatty, like things are all a bit too much. As we connect to this root chakra, we're helping to find this grounding and this alignment within ourselves. So come to align with whatever it is you're feeling today. And the thing that comes to mind, maybe that's the reason you chose this video. Checking in with your intention for this week of practices. Or creating a new intention for this practice. simply be I am grounded. And with your inhales start to take nice big full breaths in and then a long and lengthy exhale. Make our exhale a little bit longer than our inhale if we can and if this feels comfortable today. Continuing like this, but as we exhale, relaxing the shoulders even more, finding space between the shoulders and our earlobes. Keep repeating this breath, really feeling all of the lungs expand as we breathe in and releasing nice long exhale through the nose. And is there already perhaps an invitation for the energetic body to open up and lean into this practice? If so, notice this. Finding three more full, complete breaths wherever we are. Keeping the heart space open and lifted, spine tall. Opening the eyes, fluttering them open as we bring the hands together at the heart. And sending the fingers down towards the ground, almost like they're going to the ground 
like a dagger. And then opening the arms, finding space as we reach wide, gazing up, reaching our gaze to our fingertips. And bringing the palms back together, thumbs to the third eye and the forehead, down to the mouth and down to the heart. I'm gonna do this two more times. You can close the eyes if you like, sending the fingertips down and then opening wide, reaching up and slowly softening, thumbs down, third eye, the mouth, the heart, once more. And then keeping our hands together at our heart, as we twist over to the right side, keeping our thumbs towards our sternum, sternum towards our thumbs. And normally we jump right into sort of using our hands to maybe find a bit of resistance and muscle into this twist a little bit more. So just instead of this, taking it nice and easy and exploring this natural range of motion. Coming back to centre, twisting on over to the left. And back to centre, over to the right. And this time we are going to send the right hand behind, left hand to the outer right thigh, and lengthen tall through our spine as we twist maybe a little further. But just being really aware of where we can go today and take this movement in our body. So taking one more breath. Floating back to centre, hands come to the heart and over to the left side. Taking a breath here before releasing the left hand down, right hand to the outer left thigh, reaching tall and exploring this twist a bit more. Coming all the way back to centre, nice, planting the left hand down to the ground, reaching the right hand towards the sky, finding this length and keeping it as we reach over to the right side. Gazing up towards the sky if we'd like to and if this feels good, taking a smile, taking a breath in. As we breathe out, releasing and planting the right hand down. Coming all the way onto the other side. Keeping our heart space open. Rooting down through the ground and through our lower body. Coming all the way back and jumping forwards to a tabletop all fours with our wrists beneath our shoulders, knees beneath our hips, curling the tailbone down, exploring cat pose, arching our spine towards the sky, feel the ground beneath you through the palms and the tops of the feet, finding a breath here before lifting, rolling through to your cow pose, feel the spine, feel each movement, each vertebrae floating one by one and coming back to your cat pose, And cow pose, be mindful not to crunch the head and neck through lifting too high or dropping down, keeping the head and neck in alignment with the spine. One more time, tailbone drops, gaze drops, cat pose. And rolling through cow, keep lifting away from the earth, feel the support here. And come back to our neutral spine. We're lifting the right leg up and out in our beautifully named weeing dog pose. The so notice that we are collapsing straight away onto the left hip. If we are, can we maybe take our right leg a little bit lower? So peek at me if you need to, if we're finding this big collapse, just taking the leg a bit lower. We're gonna find circles three in one direction and three in the opposite direction, but take your time here, there's no rush. We'll meet back in our weeing dog pose whenever you're ready. And take the knee nice and wide, step the right foot out and forwards, coming straight into a low lunge. So we're gonna keep our back knee on the ground for this first round, finding this nice wide setup between the feet, inhaling, reaching the arms high, 
Exhale, soften into cactus arms, bending the elbows, releasing the shoulders, and lifting our heart, finding a small back bend here. Taking a breath in, and breath out. Left hand floats down to the ground. You can use our support from our at-home props if we'd like to. Right hand to the ribs as they spiral open and reach towards the sky. Gorgeous. Taking a nice breath in here. And as we breathe out, lifting back up, reaching the fingertips high, softening back, cactus arms, finding our flow, and releasing, planting the palms either side of the front foot, stepping back, tabletop, just wiggling the hips from side to side. And then finding our wing dog on the other side. I promise I will come up with a nicer name for that one day. <laughs> and lifting the left leg up and out to the side, finding our circles, Breathing and listening to where there's space. Three times one way, three times the other way. Finding stillness whenever you're ready and really circling the leg round before stepping up into our lunge, keeping the front knee over the front ankle, toes soft, really feeling the ground as we rise up, fingertips reach, softening, lifting the heart, moving with your breath, and coming back, right hand down, left hand rises, spiraling through the ribs, reaching towards the sky, gorgeous, and floating all the way back, hands reach before softening cactus arms, lifting the heart, closing the eyes if we'd like to, and coming down to the ground, stepping back, tabletop, tucking the toes under, sitting back on the heels as we reach the arms out in front, pressing down through the palms, lifting the hips high, downward facing dog, feel the support from the palms, helping to lift you up and pedaling the heels down, keeping the knees nice and bent. Notice where your breath is. And nice and slowly, imagine we're moving in slow-mo. We're gonna rock the shoulders forwards over the wrists. As we do this, start to bend the knees, release them down to the ground, hovering them off the earth. And keep them hovering there for two more breaths. Keep pressing through the palms, lightly spreading through the fingers. And on your final exhale, take the knees wide, big toes to touch, sitting back into a child's pose. Take what support you need here in Balasana. And really allow this to be your resting posture. So if you feel any tightness, any sensation that's maybe a little too strong for you, listen to this and find the support taking what you need. And slowly lifting back up and into your downward facing dog. And take your time to arrive there, there's no rush. Feel the support from the palms as we lead with the hips towards the sky. And float the right leg off the ground behind us. Now we can come down to our tabletop here if this feels good and feels better. Or we can bend the right knee as it's lifted and start to find our circles with the knee here. Remember we can come down to our weeing dog if this feels better. Just notice the breath, keep the jaw nice and soft. And then whenever we've finished, we're gonna step the right foot all the way forwards, rising into a high lunge, if that's in our practice. If not, no worries, bring the back knee down to the ground. We want to do the same little sequence, reaching the hands, softening into cactus arms, taking our gaze up towards the sky, heart back, gorgeous, breathe in. As we breathe out, float the left hand down to the ground, reach the right hand into our twist. 
and then coming all the way back into our lunge, cactus arms, heart space, reaching. And everybody come to lift the back knee off the ground now as we pivot the back foot to the earth and find a warrior one, spiraling our back thigh forwards, bending the front knee, keeping in our cactus arms. Lovely, so really feel the support through all four corners of both feet, even the knife edge of the back foot. Taking a breath here, and exhale, interlacing the hands, sending the knuckles down and away, reaching the forehead and then the crown of the head towards the earth, humble warrior. Slowly lifting all the way back up. Arms float high and then framing the front foot, coming straight back into our downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg off the ground and bending the left knee, finding our circles either in down dog or all fours. Really carve these intentional circles, so nice and wide. And then whenever you're ready, stepping the left foot up, keeping the back knee lifted if we can. Nice wide stance wherever we are in our lunge. Floating the hands high, softening back, lifting the heart, small back bend, breathing in, breathing out. Right hand floats down, left hand reaches for the sky into our twist. And coming all the way back into our cactus arm lunge, lifting the heart, smiling. Everybody lifting the back knee off as we pivot the back foot to the ground. Setting up for our warrior one, back thigh spirals forwards, leg nice and long, front knee over the front ankle, cactus arms. Don't think, don't worry too much about if you're doing this right. I trust that you are. Trust in yourself. As we float the hands together behind the back body, send the knuckles down and away, and keeping this length as we explore rolling forwards into our humble warrior. Keeping the toes of both feet soft. Finding one more breath here before slowly lifting all the way back up. Hands reach high and then softening either side of the front foot, stepping back, downward facing dog. We're gonna walk the hands back to the feet now, finding a forward fold at the back of our mat. And keep this bend in the knees really generous. Take your feet a little bit wider if you'd like to. In our Uttatasana. Uttanasana. And in our forward fold, we're really just enjoying this. And know that in our inversions, they can really help us to quiet our busy mind and balance our nervous system. Also sending some love to our sacral chakra here. Because when this is overstimulated, it can contribute to fluctuating and excessive emotional energy. So finding one more breath before slowly rolling, really, really slowly coming up to standing. Restacking each vertebra of the spine one by one. Head and neck come a blast of all. And from our mountain pose, we'll take our feet a little bit wider and turn our toes out. And 
bending the knees over the feet and the toes. We're going to come to sit back down in Malasana, yogic squat. Take what support you need here underneath the heels or the hips and bringing the palms together at the heart if we can or keeping them on the ground for support. Finding three breaths here. Staying down near the ground, connecting to our root, our foundation. Keeping the shoulders soft as we invite this openness to the heart. And after your final exhale, slowly lengthen the legs and come up to standing mountain pose. Nice. And now if you want to take any support here, maybe come near a wall and do so. We're going to take our weight over to our right leg. And we have a few options here as you grow our Bruxasana tree pose. We can bring our left foot to the ground, left toes to the ground and heel to the right ankle. Maybe we lift up to the calf. Give it a helping hand to the towards the inner thigh. But wherever we are, just noticing if we're sinking into the hip of the standing leg. So really actively pressing away from the ground through the heel and lifting out of this hip space. And notice where the arms want to be. Maybe against our support, maybe together at the heart. Listen to exactly where you want to be right now. As we feel the ground beneath us through the sole of the right foot. And we imagine we have the roots of a tree shooting through the foot into the ground, helping us to stay stable, calm, balanced. Check back in with your breath here if you lost it. Nice, smooth inhales and exhales through the nose. Finding one more breath here, closing the eyes if you'd like to play with this. And then releasing. Remember, if we fall, don't worry, the ground's there to catch us. Just shaking the hips out. And coming to take our weight into the left side. Keeping this nice bend in the standing leg. And finding our tree pose on the other side. So notice how this might feel very different here. I'm also appreciating that if you have slippy leggings, <laughs> then this might be a little bit more of a challenge. Finding this root through the sole of the foot. The stability is spreading through the ankle, the calf, the knee, the thigh, to the hips and the trunk of our tree or the trunk of our body. And we imagine our arms to be like our branches. Maybe we find a different variation here. And finding one more breath, maybe closing the eyes. And releasing down to the ground. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Chin comes towards the chest and we roll down into our Uttanasana, forward fold. We have a couple of options here. We can jump straight into a downward facing dog or come straight to a child's pose. So wherever you are, take what you need. We're going to find three breaths here. Find something new for your last breath. And then everybody meeting in a tabletop as we scoot the legs to one side. And come all the way down onto the ground. 
There's no rush getting there. And take your time to settle into this space. Take what support you need to, maybe underneath the head and neck. If you have a bolster underneath the thighs, great, go for that. And as we lie down in Shavasana, notice how you feel. really aware of every single thing that's happening within you in this moment. Come back to the breath, come back to this space. Appreciate our mat, our carpet, whatever we have beneath us, reminding us that we are here now practicing together in this space and only this moment is what matters. Listen to the sound of your breath. up the corners of the mouth and appreciating the silent power of a smile. Everybody bringing the palms together, thumbs to the third eye point of the forehead. Becoming aware of our thoughts. Bringing the thumbs down to the mouth. Becoming aware of our words. Thumbs to the heart. Becoming aware of our emotions. Can we take this calm, this grounded sense away from our practice with us and into the rest of our day. Taking a gorgeous, beautiful breath in and a long breath out. I thank you for joining me now and always and from my heart to yours, namaste.